I want to feel better about the outcome of arguably the greatest football game I've ever seen. It's the one thing that taints it in my mind. I know they have a ton of opportunities over the course of the entire game, but it just feels like there's a solution out there that gets closer to what we want that allows both teams to at least touch the ball at the end of the game. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I think there is a good solution. There's probably not a best solution or a perfect solution. I get back, and it's not the NFL caring about player safety or whatever, but again, those guys were exhausted. The reason that we say, oh, they get the coin flip, they're going to win, is because for the most part, the defenses are probably on their heels a little bit. They're tired. It's 10-1, and one, by the way, since the, the new playoffs. overtime rules were established in the playoffs. In the playoffs. 10-1. and one. In the regular season, it's like 52%. Yes. So you're looking at small sample size a little bit there. Now the playoffs have the better offenses, and that rule favors the offense, so... You could say on the whole it's relatively equitable, but in the playoffs it's not, so we need to fix it. So if you say, okay, well, Buffalo gets the ball next, how many more drives do we think both teams would have scored touchdowns? Because now you're looking at a six, seven quarter game, theoretically, that both defenses are gassed. They can't pass rush anymore. Allen and Mahomes can sling it around. I don't love the idea of now you have to go for two point conversions. I think that's altering the structure of the game. And so you could look at a game like that and just say like okay they're just going to keep trading touchdowns well at some point like that's not fair that's physically just not okay to me uh to have that as a possible scenario realistically are they going to play six quarters you know who knows probably not but i don't think that there's a solution that that should be on the table um so that's my thing with yeah let's just let both teams get a chance at it and score touchdowns because it's 10 and 1 because that team goes down and scores a touchdown the majority of the time and the majority of the time, they're really close games at the end. And I think both teams, whoever gets the ball, is going to go and score. So um, I don't necessarily love just that aspect of both teams get the ball no matter what. And then we play. I know there's some good things and some kind of game theory ones where you choose to get the ball, but you got to spot it at a certain point or they get to spot it for you if you choose the ball. And oh, Some of the proposals have yeah. brought that forward that teams have suggested. Yeah. So some of those are interesting. You know, everyone's kind of got their spin on it. There's some interesting ones floating around twitter and all this stuff and i think there's a better solution i don't think that this is a bad thing right now i think people are thinking of it like it's the worst thing ever and whatever um i just don't see it that way like i didn't leave the AFC championship game four years ago thinking like man we got screwed by the overtime rules again as players you take responsibility for what you didn't do correctly and so the bills are taking responsibility for allowing the chiefs to get in the field goal range with 13 freaking seconds left yeah that's what they're doing they're like we had this game won we let it up this is our fault that afc championship game we scored i think zero points in the first half like it's our fault we didn't have more points and we didn't win the game cleanly like it's that simple i don't blame d ford i don't blame the rules i don't blame anything else our offense sucked in the first half and we had to fight and claw our way back to even tie it and so we could have done better so i think from the player perspective There's a lot of former players on there that, you know, tweet stuff and like the engagement and like the following. But how often do you really hear current players go off on it? You don't really hear that. Like I didn't, obviously guys are trying to, you know, say the right thing and everything, but there's enough people now who just speak their mind regardless. You don't really hear the current players and the guys who lose those games saying like, man, this rule sucks and we should have got the ball. It's like, no, we should have done these other things to not put ourselves in that situation. So that's how, always how I feel. I, I don't have strong opinions about it either way. It's the same thing as when you hear when you see a call at the end of a game that goes the wrong way. In the aggregate, that's going to come out in the wash. Like it, it, the a game is comprised of a hundred moments. One moment, even if it occurred at the end of the game, did not determine the outcome of the game. So that I've always been that way, and I, that's kind of how I feel here. It's like I I don't get worked up over it because I even if there is a better solution out there. I'm not so dissatisfied with this one that I'm going to waste a lot of time and energy on it. Right. And I mean, at the end of the day, we're playing a game and, you know, it's going to happen. It matters, though. That that shouldn't be what deters us from caring about this. No, no, no. I know. I know. I'm not saying don't care. I'm not saying care less or whatever. But, like, we're not talking about nuclear codes or all these things that have, like, real importance (laughs) on worldly things and whatever. Like, yeah we're all fans and it affects our mood and we're pissed off when our team loses and stuff and we feel slighted by the rules of the refs or whatever but like it's just it's not that important in the grand scheme of things and some things work out some things don't like because of some bad stuff like you got to live one of the greatest moments with the cubs winning the world series like i got to live through the 50 years between super bowls with the chiefs like 
it was probably more special to do it on the 50th anniversary and the 60th year of the team and the 100th year of the NFL than it would have been to win the year before. And so sometimes these things just work themselves out and it just kind of, like you said, evens itself out in the end.